Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn that how we can make a form and submit it. Alright, so before starting with the code I will show you the two things. First of all I will show you the diagram that how we are going to make it and after that I will show you the points that we are going to cover in this video. Alright, so let's understand that first of all that how actually it's going to work. So first of all we will make an HTML form and after that we will make a controller all right html form here we will write the html uh, input boxes and a submit button in the control we will handle this request let's say you just pass the username and password that how we can get inside the php uh, we will do it work inside the controller all right and after that we need the two routers for that first of all we have to, we need a router for showing the html form and second router we need to the where we can submit the form all right so now let's uh, start with the, some points that we are going to cover F uh, first of all we will learn that why we use the html form then we will write then we will make uh, two fields uh, with an html form inside in a view then we will make the router and submit the form and after that uh, we, we will use a specific thing which is the csrf token we have to use it for the submit the token inside the laravel and we will learn that why we need it all right so first of all i'm just going to make a html form for that i have to go uh just collapse all the things first of all i have to go inside the resource and the view all right in the view uh, i will create a new file inside the views so my file name is user view dot play dot php all right and just hit the enter so i'm just going to make a simple html form here with the header and body head i'm just going to write a title and my title is form all right that's uh, enough for now and i uh, just going to take a body also and inside the body part i'm just going to take some fields like first of all i'm just going to take the input field uh, with the name of uh, oh, that's my bad sorry with the name of username user and uh, after that i'm just going to take uh, two br fields so that we can just give some space and with the same thing I'm just going to take one more field with the email address let's say alright and first and at the last I'm just going to take a button for submit the button okay uh, inside the button I will give you uh, some text like submit and button type should be also submit and a type like submit all right with the small s and after that all the fields i have to wrap them inside the form all right so just make a form here and with the form we have to mention the two more things uh, one is uh, action all right and what i have to put inside the action i will tell you within some moments and the method and my method is post all right okay so now my form should be ready so how can i see that i cannot able i'm I cannot see it without the route so I'm just going to make a route here for making the route I'm just going to write here route view inside the view I'm going to put the path and I'm just going to write here user view simply and inside after the view just I have to write here the file name which is user view with the same all right at the last i'm just going to put the semicolon and let's see is it uh, working inside the url or not let's check now you can see that we got the two fields here and a submit button also that's nice 
and after that uh, I where I can submit this form so for submit this form I need a controller and for the controller I'm just going to make it with the PHP artisan command so I'm just going to write here PHP artisan serve and just write here make user controller and just hit the enter okay so I think there is something missing inside the command uh, let's check PHP artisan serve okay I just have to write here make controller with the controller name okay so still there is some problem yeah, yep uh, that's my bad I just have to use the PHP artisan make and now you can see that we uh, successfully created an controller for find the controller you know that we have to go inside the HTML uh, just refresh it for a moment and you can see that this is user controller is here alright so if you don't know how we can uh, controller actually work then you can watch our previous video link is given in the description so now I'm just going to put a method here just write here public function and the function name is like form submit all right that's good and here I'm just going to write here so first of all I need a instance of uh, request and for this information why we are going to use you can watch our previous video which is the HTTP request related to it so now just write here dollar req you can put the whatever name like uh, dollar or dollar request whatever you want and just write here print r and inside here just write here dollar request input that's nice okay so this is also ready so now we need a second path for this so I'm just going to write a one more path and for this path I'm just going to write here and now uh, my method is post so I'm just going to put here post and this is in my URL is user controller alright and here I have to just put the class name and the method name so my controller name same as a class name here and just write here uh, form submit with that just write here form submit that's okay okay so after that I just have to put this uh, route inside my submit form alright now okay so now let's see what's going on everything is working fine uh, when you are just going to submit this form it will give to the error 419 why I will show you just after introducing this error alright so let's say name is Peter and email is Peter underscore uh, test.com alright and try to submit it now you can see that your page is expired with the 419 why it's coming because Laravel don't allow us to use the form submission without the CSRF token because CSRF token is used to prevent your uh, controller or your uh, application from the outside your website request so you may don't know that the request is coming from your own domain or postman or where alright for that you must have to include here CSRF so for that you just have to use the at the rate and that's it alright now let's try once more just put the name Peter and uh, just put the email ID this is actually my email ID and try to submit it and now you can see that the username is here token is here and email address is here with the CSRF token alright this code will identify that the user is coming from our website not from the outside use alright that's okay so this is a very simple example that how you can get the 
form submission and if you want to just uh, get the email address inside this then you can submit submit like it all right okay in the next video uh, in the next upcoming video actually i will tell you that how can submit this html form to directly inside the database i cannot tell you about in this video because uh, uh, if i'm just going to introdu introduce you with the database then it will take a very long time and video will be going up to the 30 or more minutes so thanks for watching this video subscribe our channel don't forget to like this video bye bye have a nice day